to consume. And people who have deep pockets, so they're buying expensive cars, they're going to the grocery stores, they're going to the restaurants. These are the things that the people need to see in the country to have confidence, boy, I can build a new restaurant, or I can open up another grocery store chain, or I can open up another gas station because they're people with money. When you increase the level of taxation, it reduces the amount of consumption that people have, and therefore there is a corresponding impact by investment, and we saw it. The last five years, we continue to see that people are not investing in St. Lucia. And as a result of it, we're not seeing any level of growth, which then increases the burden of debt on the country. Okay, so I'd like you to expound on a statement with which, with which both you and the Minister for National Security has made concerning the formation of the Border Control mm -hmm. Unit. Uh, what has been said, and if I may paraphrase, is that the establishment of that, the, the Americans have pledged to fully support the Marine Unit um, under the iteration of a border control unit. And yet, I think we had the U.S. Ambassador, from the Nathan State Department, for what I mean, saying that they will not uh, remove the lay laws, the, well, the section of the lay law which was um, invoked on St. Lucia unless impact is dealt with. So it seems to be a bit of a a conflict as a race. Can you expand on this? Well, I'm, I, I have never made that correlation. We're moving to a border control because that's where most countries are going. Um, and with the technology that's available today, immigration, I've been saying this for years, has become redundant. We, we are pre-clearing people before they arrive here. We know who they are the moment they, they check in on the flights. Um, we're in fact looking to pass a new legislation we call Advanced Immigration Information Service which will give us the ability to get more technology to even be more accurate in our um, assessment of people before they arrive here. So even with customs, the airlines have reduced the amount of bags that you can bring on the plane. So even as a risk of people bringing in counterbound outfits uh, and material has been reduced significantly. We have scanners, we have dog sniffers, and also we have a very good regional network of people who give us information. Um, so the processes that we had in place before have become obsolete and therefore you don't have to design an airport with those kinds of facilities in mind. And so the border control is to create greater efficiency. If customs are not, their primary thing is not to collect revenue at the air, their, their, their primary uh, effort becomes now border control. That's what the threat is, the importation of arms, the importation of drugs. Um, and security at your borders. We've seen that the US, Canada, the UK, Europe, all the countries around the world have all gone to border controls. We're seeing that several of the islands in the region are also going to be going in that direction. So the, the movement of border control is about creating greater efficiency um, and a greater concentration of expertise in one department. So once you're gonna to go to border control, moving the marine police becomes a natural progression in that area. So we're going to move the police, most countries call it a Coast Guard, and now they call it part of their border control. So that is where that movement comes in. If by chance, um, that because now it's no longer the police, and that the U.S. authorities are prepared to help us in our, our border control, then that becomes an added bonus. But none of the decisions that we've been made have been driven by um, expecting the U.S. to come and support us. That would be a nice adage if it happens. But the minister did seem quite convicted because he did say it, his own words were the Marine Police, the U.S. will be assisting the Marine Police in that matter. So can we, can we count it as an error, maybe a, a, a mis, he misspoke? No, I don't think he misspoke. I think the fact is it's, an, it, it, it's, a, it's a hope, but it's not anything that I just want to be very clear. The decisions that we've made have not been driven by that process. And I think that if anybody is going to be fair, and you go back and listen to my speeches and, the, and the, interview, the numerous interviews I had with you and other people, I've been speaking about border control forever. So it, that's just an efficient way. We, how do we re-engineer is about making sure that we're applying the human resources that we have the most efficient way. Right now, having um, 80 policemen uh, pose as immigration officers in my mind is not an efficient use of their resources. So why would you put somebody through all this training to have them sit down to do something that is really redundant? Okay, what, what is it they're really looking at? I mean, all the information of the people who have traveled has gone through Interpol, um, has gone through the FBI and gone through um, M5. 
how can they look at a passport, look at you, look at a passport, look at as if that's going to provide any security? That those days are done, and that that process can be done by somebody else. I would rather see those 80 policemen on the beat um, and providing security to solutions. So this is when we talk about re-engineering, it's about looking at the existing structures we have and the processes that we're engaging and ask ourselves, if we had to start over again, given the information that we have now, would it look the same way? So once the answer is no, then the next question is to ask, what would it look like? And then once you've designed that new entity, is to say, how do we now transition into that new entity? And that transition is not about firing people. That transition is to say, okay, here are the people that are going to be retiring. Here's whose contracts are coming to an end. And we'll transition to that with the understanding that it's going to take a period of time. Okay, on another topic from...